What's going on guys, Spencer Clays here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean and wash a $600 roof that had a ton of moss on it. Let's go. Alright guys, so first things first, this roof had a ton of moss, which is caused by three main factors, lack of sun, moisture, and debris. And up here in the Pacific Northwest, we have a plethora of all three of those. It rains most of the year. We have some of the largest trees in the world, and the sun never makes an appearance, so this creates a perfect storm for books like the Twilight Series and also roof cleaning businesses. So the first step to any roof clean is just getting the debris off. If you can leaf blow it all off straight away, awesome. But many times for stuff like moss, you need to get some sort of nylon brush that isn't too stiff to sort of loosen everything up. We don't want to scrub the roof or use a pressure washer, which can actually cause more damage. We just want to gently loosen the moss, kind of like brushing your teeth. You don't want to use a wire brush or brush like a madman. You just sort of get everything loosened up. Same for the roof. Just get everything loose with the brush and we'll blow it off. Additionally, there are a couple other methods that we can use to remove moss, like the stick method. I'll show you guys right now. Stick method is when the moss is kind of stubborn. Like, see, this isn't like, this isn't gonna brush off very easily and we don't wanna go too crazy. So the stick method, essentially like slicing it away. So, one pass. And then, all that's gonna brush off. So it's the least invasive, one of the best methods I've found to use. So, try it out, that's what we're gonna use. So as you can see, the moss removal takes up the bulk of the cleanup. That's why the price for a roof clean can vary so much. Sometimes we'll do a clean for 300 bucks, but sometimes it can go all the way up to 3000 bucks. All depends on the steepness, how much moss, how big the roof is, and a lot of other factors. But for the most part, roofs with moss are generally between 500 to $800 if I had to give a ballpark number. And for those types of cleanings, shouldn't take more than a few hours. I believe this one was between three to four hours for the full job, which is pretty standard. At the end of the day, we want the roof looking awesome and we don't want any of the moss to grow back because the reason roofs need to be cleaned in the first place is because not only does it look terrible, but the moss and fungus are actually eating away at the roof and it subtracts years of life from it. So we definitely don't want it hanging around. Once all the moss is brushed and removed, we start blowing everything off with a leaf blower and tackling the gutters, making sure we get those all cleaned out and that the downspouts are clear and flowing, which is something we can check later once we start the wash. But for now, just get everything cleared out and try your best not to make a mess. Obviously, it's going to happen, so bag and bucket as much as you can. But as you can see, this roof has bags and bags worth of moss, so do the best you can. Anything that ends up in the yard will just get mowed anyways. Still, we always make sure to clean up once we're on the ground and get everything prepped and ready to start treating the roof. So when it comes to treating and washing a roof, there are a couple different methods. The best and most premium level is definitely the soft wash, which is what we're doing now. It's a mixture of bleach, water, and soap, and this kills everything in its tracks and makes the roof look the best. The other option you'll see me do a lot is the zinc powder treatment or laundry detergent powder. This is essentially a powdered version of the soft wash, but it needs water to activate. So typically here, it rains so much that we'll just powder the roof and head out. It's a lot faster and the materials cost less. So it really is up to the customer if they want the nice new spotless looking roof with the soft wash or if they want a clean and more cost-effective powder treatment and cleanup, it still looks good. But as far as the overall price goes, the soft wash generally adds at least $200 more to the cost, but many times it is definitely worth it. Anyways, guys, now you know more about cleaning roofs than 90% of the population. So whether you're thinking about getting your roof cleaned or you're looking to provide this as a service, best of luck. I also have a ton more videos about the other ways you can service a home and more importantly, make over six figures a year doing dirty jobs just like this. So if that's of interest to you, I also have a private mastermind program where I teach stuff like this and help guys make a lot more money. So I will see you there. Get after it, bro. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to the Spencer Clay Show. That's all for now. See you in the next episode. Peace.